So the most successful team that I believe I've been a part of has been my family team. My wife and I, we've been together since we're 15 years old, and uh, you know I'm 40 now, so she, although everyone thinks she's a teenager, she's not. <laughs> but that, that's really what I believe I'm so proud of, that, that her and I have stepped together through thick and thin, and trust me, I have been one big problem for her at some time, at, during times of our relationship. Um, and so I'm proud of that. Our kids, too. I mean, we really, you should see us when we work together at the theater. I mean, you know, we're a normal family, too, so don't get it twisted. We're, we get into our little arguments at home. But if you come to the theater, you'll see my son popping popcorn, my other son helping customers, uh, my daughter checking the, the bathrooms or the lights or doing sound or lights. I mean, we're all working together. And although, you know, we're not making much money at it, um, it's really, really building these memories that I hope that my children will pass on to their kids. Um, you know, that, that, that our family team has, has been something special and that we, we have beaten the odds. I mean, uh, my parents aren't together anymore, my wife's parents aren't together anymore, but we still are. And, um, and I'm just proud of our, our family team. I hope that the next team that we're building is, is this team here. Whether who wins the city council race or not, I hope that everyone who's running continues to stay engaged and helps and becomes involved. And no matter who wins, we need you, all of you, to be helping us. If I was elected and I, and I win, I'm only going to be able to get the job done with your help. You know, you can't just vote for us and then leave us alone for four years. It is important that you're continually involved and active in our job because it's our job. It's not my job. It's our job. And so everyone needs to start to realize that together we can make a difference, especially here at the local level. This is where we can really make change. So it's our, to our, our time, and it is time to make change and positive together. So family team, and I hope to consider all of you family too. Thank you. So I've been involved with teams all my life. Um, I've been an educator for the last 25, well, close to 25 years. Um, I, I've uh, started uh, in the schools, and it's given me the opportunity to work with uh, numerous teams on level of students, making for the betterment of students, for the betterment of schools. I've been a teacher, a special ed uh, speech therapist, a principal. I've run uh, many programs in schools, and I'm currently the director of human resources where we train leaders on site-based decision-making, and how to build consensus. In doing all of that, I believe it takes a team, and not just an individual, to push their initiative. It takes a whole team to come up with solutions for problems and build consensus among the community. A lot has been said tonight about the City Council and what we haven't done. Well, I think we've done a great job. We have different people that come to the city council with different points of view, and that's what you want as a community. You want people that come with the, the points of view that serve and represent all of the community. I'm very proud that we were able to work together on the weekends to bring together a, a, a solid city manager for our city. And this, these type of decisions come down to, and that was a 7-0 vote. We are working together. And, and it's interesting that it keeps coming up that we're not together, we're not together. But is that what you want? Do you want a city that every single vote, everybody says, we're going to vote the same way, this exact same time? I mean, what's it all about, really? When we work together, I'm very proud of everything we've done. Things have been rough, and we've made it through. And I understand why people want to run against incumbents, because we're on an up upward slope. We've got a lot of great things going, and now everybody wants to jump on the bandwagon after we've done the work. I understand that. But it takes a team, it takes time, and the, the conversation and the discussion and getting to the root is really what it's all about. That's why it's important. So I'm glad you asked this, this question because um, I'm very proud of the team I work on right now, which is the school board. Um, when I was elected four years ago, 
there were four new school board members and three sitting school board members, and it was a very fractured group. And we learned to come together and make very difficult decisions. We have a lot of 7-0 votes on our school district board, not because we're carbon copies and not because we're rubber stamping, because as a leader, I know the sensitivities of each member of that school board. And so when staff comes to me with a, a proposal, I look at it and I know this is not going to fly with this person, this is not going to fly with this person, this is why. And I say to staff, how can we make this work for that person? And if staff says, you know what, it, it has to be this way for this reason, then I will call that person up. I don't call the people whose votes I have, I call the people whose votes I don't have. Because coming up with seven zero votes, no, you're not going to have that all the time. But when it comes to major issues, major vision issues, seven zero votes are important because it gives staff their mandate. And unless staff feels empowered, they're not going to go out there and do the job that you want them to do. And so I do see a lot of fracture on our city council. I do see a lot of people voting on not the merits of the issue, but voting on who's the proponent of the issue. That's not serving us as a community. So I'm glad that the city council has been able to come together and get a 7-0 vote for this new city manager. I think the city manager is fantastic and a great opportunity for our town. But the underlying problem of there being a lack of cohesive vision on the council remains. And I plan to take the skills I've developed over the last four years on the school board to the council to bring that vision together. Um, you know, whenever you have new members elected to a board or a council, there's always a rough period. But if you have the skills on how to incorporate those new people, you can get through it, and your staff will look and say, for fin finally, we know which way they want us to go. Let us do our jobs. That's why, you know, it's so important that we come together as a council. And we're, it's just not happening right now. And that's the skill, that's the leadership skills I bring with me. And that's, you know, another reason I'm 